So today's topic is autotropic nutrition. The autotropic nutrition is a type of the nutrition where an organism prepares its own food from a simple inorganic material like water, mineral salts and carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight. The term autotropic is formed by the combination of two terms auto which means self and tropic which means nutrition. So, the literal meaning of this term is self-nutrition. That means a person or an organism, they are capable of providing the nutrition to themselves and create the nutrition for themselves. If we talk about our nature, then we have seen that we have different types of the organism or different types of the living materials which are being presented in our surroundings. One of them is the plants. If you have seen that you can tell that plants they are just present at one place. They do not loco locomote, they do not move from their one space. So how they got the nutrition? These plants they are green in color which means that they have something which give them the color green. So this green color pigment is known as chlorophyll which provide them the color green. All green plants possess an autotropic mode of nutrition. That means that all the green plants they have the chlorophyll which trap the solar energy. That is the energy which come from the sunlight. So it means that chlorophyll have the power to trap sunlight. And because of that only these green plants they are able to make their own food. And that's why they have the autotropic mode of nutrition. They utilize solar energy, water and carbon dioxide by the process of photosynthesis. This results in the formation of glucose. Plants like blue-green algae. It is a type of the algae which is known as blue-green algae or BGA. And bacteria such as cyanobacteria which is green in color they along with the plants considered as to be the example of autotrophs and organisms which present the autotropic mode of nutrition they possess a process known as photosynthesis this process involves the chlorophyll The oxygen, the carbon dioxide from the environment, the water which is obtained from the soil and in presence of sunlight these all materials they react and form glucose. So if we see a leaf, if we put a leaf under a microscope we will find that the leaf have some eye type of structures. These eye type of these structures, they are known as stomata. If I take about the structure of the stomata, then you will see that these stomata have some different components. That is, the first one is the guard cell. These guard cells basically are presented as a door. They are the door which let the entry of carbon dioxide and O2. This stomatal pore opening is present which is the entry point for 
carbon dioxide and oxygen then we have these pigments these black dots which are known as the chloroplast which is the green color pigment present in any green leaf if we see a leaf under a microscope we will find that stomata they are present maximum in number on the lower side of the leaf why why stomata are present maximum in the lower side it is because in the lower side they are not in direct contact with the sunlight and they are more protected from the breeze and because of that the loss of water through stomata is less so that's why the stomata are present maximum in number on the lower side of the leaf now if we take the structure of the leaf then we will find a structure like this that is it is the upper epidermis that means an upper part then the lower epidermis that means the lower part of the leaf and in between them there is a air space and some mesophylls and this is your stomata as you can see that the upper epidermis it is having a wax cuticle so that's why it is also a reason that they have a less stomata on the upper region now coming to the topic of the photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process that release the oxygen this photosynthesis it helps in the release of oxygen that we breathe about 21% which of oxygen which is present in the atmosphere it comes from various sources one of them is photosynthesis this process is used by plants algae and certain bacteria to turn sunlight carbon dioxide and water into food and oxygen here you can see that sun gives the energy the sun energy is being given the carbon dioxide and the water from the roots they get absorbed and in chlorophyll the green color pigment these get converted a reaction take place by which glucose is formed and oxygen is released this reaction which occur is a chemical reaction so you can see say that photosynthesis basically means that combining together with the help of the light if we see about the reaction of the photosynthesis then you can see that carbon dioxide is there which is obtained from the air then water which is obtained from the roots or you can say soil in the presence of chlorophyll and by the sunlight energy a chemical reaction take place which makes the sugar that is carbohydrate and oxygen this carbohydrate it get stored in various part of the plant and this oxygen that release in the environment and enable us to breathe the photosynthesis occur when plants use light energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen these carbohydrate they get stored in various part of the plant and they are the energy source which help them to grow so if we see then you can see that light is coming and here the process will take place so this process will take place in the chloroplast which are the side of photosynthesis these chloroplast they are the plastids which are green in color they are present only in plant cells and located within the mesophyll cells thank you so this is the today's topic we will continue the next topic in our next class